Is there ever the possibility of pooling the endocrine system into maintaining your endogenous test production whilst adding exogenous tests, or is this just simply impossible? Yeah, well, I don't know why you'd want to, honestly, um, because you're you're competing cross purposes there. Because pe- there are clinics that try to push this, right? They'll say, "Here's your enclomiphene that you're going to take alongside your testosterone," or "Here's your uh, aromatase inhibitor." So if they keep the estradiol low, then maybe we're going to trick the system into pumping out a little more natural. You're you're still fighting yourself because you're now blocking, you're poisoning, you're taking a poison essentially with those that's going to cause negative issues while you're trying to counteract them with the testosterone. It's like you just take the testosterone. If it's a if you want to keep your natural production going for fertility reasons and stuff, that's a whole nother conversation. You know, we've talked about the HCG and FSH protocols before. There's ways to maintain fertility while, while you're taking exogenous testosterone. Um, I would not personally be taking something that's inhibiting estrogen or estrogen activity in the brain just to stimulate my testicles while I'm taking testosterone, I think you're asking to feel like crap, personally. 